All right, here we go. We're at part two for Stolen Valor and documentation. Uh, I changed up the pictures this time. I actually had to be in this lighted room because of uh, this camera is not too good. Anyway, uh, the last video we talked about ID cards, VA cards, VFW membership cards, or LESs with hostile fire and imminent danger. Now remember, most people are not going to carry those damn LESs inside their wallets. But I ran into a lot of guys who had American Legion cards and memberships. Now remember, the American Legion, you can join the American Legion if you have a, um, if you have a DD-214 that has a, you know, honorable discharge. Anybody can join. Anybody. You don't have to be in a war to join it. And we'll talk a little bit later about my former um, American Legion Hall. But we're going to go on to uh, DD-214s, NGB-22s, and the rarely ever talked about DA Form 2-1. Very, very rare. This is your DA Form 2-1. If anybody who knows any of their salts will know about what the hell this is. Okay? Everybody from the 60s, 70s, and into the 80s and early 90s had a DA Form 2-1. Now, I've run into guys who claim to be officers who are in charge of platoons. They, you know, back in the day, yeah, man, I was a captain back in... 1979, you know. Yeah, okay, dude. Uh, do you know what a DA Form 2-1 is? Uh, what? Uh, what? Uh, what? Uh, what? what? Yeah, uh, I don't know. Uh, what? Well, dude, a DA Form 2-1 is where usually, um, most of the time, officers will write in stuff on this form that's kept in your records. Got your name. You know, Social Security, it's all blocked out. It has overseas service. It's got all that other stuff in there. Assignments, operations, classifications. I was an infantryman. Down here, you state all your awards. I had an Army service ribbon at the time. This thing right here is dated 94. So this thing was not, um, was not up to speed back in the day. But, you know, what can I say? But this, uh, you know, here you go. 1990, 91. You know, infantryman, my unit. So, if these jackasses are talking a lot of shit, especially if they're older veterans and who are in leadership positions, because only leaders can actually fill out a 2-1. Use most of the time, usually a platoon sergeant or a platoon leader. Almost 99% of the time, be a platoon leader or somebody above him, such as the XO or maybe even the CO. So ask them. There it is, the 2-1. Kind of threw a loop in there before you uh, guys that know about documentation. Okay? Then, if that doesn't do it, hey, dude, where's your DD-214? Well, how about an MGB-22? This is the National Guard version of the DD-214. It's separation papers. If you see, report of separation and record of service. ba -bum. This usually happens... When you're off of TDY or off of deployments. This one right here had me uh, discharged. Uh, actually separated from operation during freedom. When I was uh, overseas back in uh, 2005. And uh, an MGB-22 will have, you know, will have all the information you need. It'll have your highest education levels, military education, unit for which you're transferred, MOSs. Here you go. I was 11 Bravo and 11 Charlie. I have four MOSs, but they only put two of them on there. And it has all your awards and everything. What's different about using uh, MGB-22 to appear to the DD-214, it has a lot of state awards, especially if you're National Guard. So you're going to find your drill attendance ribbons, your, California, you know, your uh, National Guard good conduct medals. So you'll find a lot of that stuff on this line here. So... Ask them for that. MGD-22, were you National Guard? You know, here's another one from uh, Operation Iraqi Freedom. And you got all your military education. You got all that stuff. All your 
everything else, and this is for me for retired reserves, and done, that's when I retired out. I was done. I was like, later, I did my 21 years and pretty much tipped the hell out, which was uh, good times for me. Now, most people say, well, dude, what's your duty 214? Duty 214. I've ran into at least 200 videos talking about, let me see a DD214, bro, or these live link things where they're all talking and bullshitting inside of some freaking retarded fucking veteran fucking thing. You know, all it is is just a lot of chest thumping. But if anybody asks you DD214, boom. There you go. Break out a DD214. I got five DD214s. I got five of these damn things. And you're going to ask me how in the hell I got five? Well, I got one from Basic Training AIT, three from my... All three of my deployments, and last one, when I retired, they sent me a DD-214. Here's some more DD-214s. This is from uh, Enduring Freedom. Here's another one. When I was an 11 mic, you know, done all that stuff. You can notice I don't have any fucking lot of hua-hua stuff. So, I have some pretty DD-214s if they got it. Or MGBase-22s, dash or even DD-215s. If they got them, which is uh, DD215 is your all your corrective information on there, including additional medals, ribbons, promotions, and all that other stuff. So ask them. Ask them for all this stuff. Not too many people is going to carry a DD214 inside their wallets, but I've ran into a lot of guys that claim they have. I'm like, okay, whatever, dude. Why would you want to have that kind of information in your wallet? If you lose it, somebody's going to get your shit, especially your uh, Social Security. So basically, this is what this is. This is uh, part two of Stolen Valor and what to look for. Okay, we're going to go on to part three because I'm running out of power again. So stand by.